Throughout its history, Notre Dame athletics has inspired men and women onward to victory in the game of life, often despite tremendous odds against them. These journeys have manifested themselves in a variety of physical, mental, and spiritual forms, but one element binds them together. Persistence fueled by the spirit of Notre Dame. We will fight in every game, strong of heart and true to her name. I think Hoy has, has the best grasp of what life is all about. Uh, life is easy in Hawaii. It's very slow. Everybody knows everybody. I mean, you're on a small island and there's not a lot of people. It's just about the people who you love and having them around you at all times. And I think everybody, you know, grows up and looking up to somebody um, and has a hero in their life. For me, it's my dad. Uh, at a very young age, my dad, you know, started throwing the ball back and forth to each other. Um, but when you're coming from Hawaii, and especially from, you know, Kouku area on the north shore of the, of the island of Oahu, you know, football is really, really big. It's really big. Um, my, my dad played football. All my uncles played football. My grandfather played football. And so I wasn't going to play, like, badminton or something. I was going to play football. Robert Joseph Toma uh, has been my uh, best friend since we were five years old. Uh, we've lived three houses down from each other since I was in the fifth grade. I can remember, you know, after games on, on Sunday afternoons, Matt's family, is, along with my family, we would be cleaning our, our team's jerseys. And, uh, you know, him and I, have we've trained every summer since we were in third and fourth grade. The thing I think I loved the most was that uh, my dad was coaching. He was the head coach, my uncle was the assistant coach. So it wasn't necessarily a team thing, it was, it was a family thing. I think Manti broke out of his mold uh, probably his sophomore year in high school. Uh, he had just transferred back to the private school he was attending in, in intermediate. He had spent his freshman year uh, playing with his friends here locally at a, at a local high school down the road. And that's when he grew. Uh, and I saw a significant change in his play. I saw a significant change in his attitude and his approach to the game. And, um, and Manti just started to bloom from there. His sophomore year when he started getting the initial letters of interest, we were really excited. Um, his junior year, it was still building, but it, it was definitely his senior year when um, he started receiving phone calls from coaches. Our goal was just to get a Division I scholarship anywhere. We were hoping for the University of Hawaii. That was our goal. When his recruiting really took off, you know, we didn't know how to handle that. You would have a, a position coach, the defensive coordinator, the head coach would, would call him. And then you multiply that by the 30 schools that was recruiting him. So now we have 90 people calling us every week. And, it, and that didn't even include the, the media. And when Notre Dame came, it was almost like we had to take a moment of silence. <laughs> kind of just kind of soak it in. Like, really, Notre Dame? We thought, what would they want with this local kid from Hawaii? I, I never thought that Notre Dame would be in the picture. Um, the distance, the weather. So when Notre Dame stepped in, I was like, oh my gosh, where did this come from? Manti introduced him to his friend and Notre Dame kind of say, oh yeah, hi, hi Robbie, bye Robbie, kind of thing. And it wasn't until they watched his film that they really thought that, man, this kid could play. So when they both got on the bandwagon, it was an incredible moment. I think the pressures coming out of high school uh, was, was pretty incredible for a 17-year-old. Uh, he felt that he had to perform better than he did the day before, but I think more so he understood now that he was no longer just Manti. He was a representative of the state. You know, you heard the rumors before you actually saw him play, and one of the first rumors I heard was that he had gotten in trouble in practice for hitting somebody too hard, so you were kind of anticipating uh, this great 
big thunderous player from Hawaii to make all kinds of plays all over the field. He clearly was a guy that uh, a lot of people had eye on because he's coming out of a, an area that's not heavily recruited, first of all. So that immediately gives you a lot of attention. Uh, mentally, I just needed to get over that hump that you now I wasn't the big fish in a small pond anymore. I was that small fish in a deep blue ocean. Uh, it, was, it was a tough transition, as all transitions are for incoming freshmen at any university. I'm pretty sure he would have went through the same thing here at the University of Hawaii, and it's only right down the street. But I think Robbie being there really made it palatable at first. And, and the Notre Dame family has been just incredible over these past three and a half years. And uh, we couldn't see him uh, at any other university. I think any athlete, you know, who, who thinks that they're not a role model, you know, it's, they're, they're very mistaken. And, you know, a guy who's willing to serve, you know, others is, is a very strong man, is a very strong individual. Uh, and so, you know, I've, my parents have always stressed, you know, service. Manti's personality is so outgoing and, and, and so other-centered that, uh, you know, he's been out in the community so much that, you know, everywhere I've gone, you know, when you say Notre Dame football, Manti's name is, is right there after it. You know, when I run out of that tunnel, when I walk through this locker room, and when I put on that, that jersey, I think of all the people who have come before me. You know, I think every game we go to, it's sold out. Uh, so, you know, the pride and tradition of Notre Dame is very much alive, and that's what makes this experience so special. was ranked as one of the top 10 players coming out of high school. This is what we expected. There's kind of this woo factor that you say, my goodness, I wouldn't want to be on the field right now, at least not on the other team. After my junior year, uh, and there were a lot of people who were telling me you know, that I could leave, that I had a big possibility of being drafted you know, in the first round. And for any boy, you know, anybody who plays football, you know, that's, that's the goal. He, he really was confused. He didn't know uh, where to go. I think he was torn between his, his idea of, of duty and loyalty to family versus what he truly felt he wanted to do in his heart. Every year he would tell mom and I that he goes, Mom, Dad, the earliest chance I get, I'm going to get into the NFL and I'm going to buy you a home. We would always say, oh, great, 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 good job, son. Yeah, thank you. And, you know, just get your education. Go, no, dad, you know, if I get the chance. Well, hello, the chance came. And so we, we flew up to Newport Beach uh, for the Lot Awards and to, to be with him, to support him. And the night before the actual event, you know, we sat down as a family and we, we talked about that decision. And I said, by, you know, my recommendation is to leave. You know, I mean, if I was your age, um, in my circumstance, I would leave. You know, we've always talked to him about taking advantage of, advantage of opportunities that come before you. And definitely on paper, the decision should have been for Manti to, to enter the draft. I was talking to my sister one time and I asked her what I should do and she said, Manti, isn't that your dream? I want to go to the NFL. She said, since that's your dream, you should leave. And. Uh, I thought about it and I said, you know what? The NFL is my goal. My dream is to have an impact on the most people as possible. And I feel I'm not done at Notre Dame. So I'll be coming back my senior year. Wow. I'm not sure there could be a better um, combination of person and place than uh, Manti and the University of Notre Dame. He embodies so many of the values uh, that are fundamental to this, this institution. I think in some ways that's why it felt like the right place for him when he made his decision to come here. But uh, his faith, um, his energy, his commitment to people, his dedication to his craft are, are what make him so much a Notre Dame man. He's not a guy that you replace. 
um, the, the worth to the team is, is incredible. They get an example of, of how to work and how to behave and how to conduct your business on and off the field. Frankly, when we first met, he was not a great tackler, but to his credit, he studied all those instances and worked diligently every day to remedy that and turn himself into the best tackler in the country. Manti is so proud of where he comes from that he's never forgotten where he comes from and he talks about it a lot and, and people on the island that were never Notre Dame fans are Notre Dame fans now because of not just because of the way he plays the game but the kind of person that he is uh, plays the game with integrity has integrity off the field and everybody that he touches kind of is a better person for having been around him. He represents so many um, in not only his his religious faith but but also um, his, the island you know he's somebody that has come to Notre Dame which is uh, obviously <laughs> a bright light and, and on a big stage, and he's welcomed that opportunity. He's a role model. You know, money can't buy the memories I can build here with my friends and my family. And when I pass on, when I, when I, when I die, you know, I can't take a big Cadillac with me. I can't take a big house, you know, a Rolex or whatever. Um, but what I will take are the memories that I have on my senior year here at Notre Dame and experiencing the success that you know, I've, I've experienced. I just want to show the kids back at home that, hey, you, know, you can do it too. You, know, you, you can fly out of the island. You can fly across the Pacific Ocean and, and come to a, a prestigious university like Notre Dame. And you can be successful and you can give back to your family and everything will be okay. Your dreams can come true.